Hi everyone! Let me be your guide during this presentation of Imaginarium, a game in which you will incarnate a handyman trained to be one of the great machinists who are the rulers of the Dream Factory. You are gonna have to demonstrate your talents by completing objectives that you can see here in this race goal game and also management game. On the board, you can see a staircase which is the turn track order and leads to the conveyor belt on which you can see machines, broken machines, that you will acquire by paying them, we will see that, in order to complete objectives, to get resources, etc, etc. After this conveyor belt, you can see the charcoalium extractor leading to the meeting room, meeting room in which you can encounter assistance. This assistance will accompany you during the game and help you a lot by increasing your actions. And then you have this design office in which you can find the objectives you will have to complete. To win this game, you will need to be the first one to reach at least 20 victory points. There will be little adjustments depending on the majority in resources that you can see here and charcoalium for those victory points, but the projects are really necessary. Okay, now we've seen the bric-a-brac, let's take a look at the workshop, which is your personal board, on which you can see the action clock that is here, which will designate the pair of action you will have to do during your turn. But the clock have to turn, at least it cannot be the same two actions you perform from one turn to another. On this board, you can see a number here. The number is your place on the turn track at the beginning of the game. And those are also for the beginning of the game. Those are the charcoalium and resources you get, you start with. And these are the machines you will start with, the repaired machines that will be able to be activated every turn. You can see there is four spots for them and already at the beginning of the game two are taken. So there is only two, avail two more available. And you can see here assistance. You don't start the game with assistance but when you acquire them, you hire them, you will place them here. Now that we have seen this, let's see how a turn runs. This player will place itself on the board, here on the conveyor belt, in order to claim a machine, a broken machine, or on the charcoalium extractor, in order to get charcoalium. The charcoalium is the money of the game, and you will use it in order to pay for your machines, and also to make trades, and, but we will see that later. Then every player will place their handyman on the board, and starting with the player the most on the left of the conveyor belt, players will play their turn. So here, Philidus, the blue player, will activate her machines. Then Philidus will have to pay for the machine she reserved. Here you can see the price of this machine is indicated on the board by those numbers plus by the level of the machine, which is 3 plus 2, so this, this machine costs Felidius 5 charcoalium. Oh, thank you, Felidius. And she will get her machine. Then she will perform her actions that we will see with Zadok. So Zadok here will activate his machines. You can see the chocolate will produce one charcoalium, indicated here, and the carpenter will produce one wood. Then I will have, Vadok will have to pay for the machine I reserved. The price here, same as before, 2 plus 1 charcoalium is 3 charcoalium. I will get this broken machine that I will put here beside my board, beside my workshop. This machine is not repaired yet, so I cannot put it here. I will have to perform actions in order to repair it. Then 
I will choose the two actions I will perform during my turn. One action I can perform is, for example, hiring assistants. To hire assistants, you can see them here, you will have to pay for them. The cost is indicated here in Charcoalion. Of course, this is the money of the game. And if I pay for it, I can hire it and put it on my workshop. I have only three available spots for assistants and I won't have more during the game. So I have to choose carefully my assistants. This assistant that you can see, for example, helps you buying machines because the, the cost of the machine is now the cost indicated on the board but you don't pay anymore for the cost indicated by the level of the machine which will help you saving some, mo some money. Here this action will just be to extract charcoalium. So if you perform it, you get three charcoalium. This action here is repairing. So when you perform this action, you will be able to repair a machine. Here I have a broken machine. I can stack more machines than that, but I have only one at this time. And if I want to repair it, I will have to perform this action and to pay the cost here. So the cost is one crystal and one wood. If I can pay this cost, this machine will come into my workshop and activate immediately. So this machine is a transformation machine and it will transform any resource indicated here into a copper resource that I will take and put behind my screen. Then every turn I will be able to activate this, this machine again if I want to. Here is the trade action. So when I perform this action, I will have three trades to perform. One trade will be, for example, to buy one wood for, for the price of one charcoalium, or to buy one crystal for the price of three charcoalium. Or I can also sell my resources, for example, copper, for the price of two charcoalium. I can also buy victory points, which is pretty important, for the price of 5 charcoalium, but I cannot sell them, I can only buy them. This is the dismantle action. When you choose to perform it, you will have a choice. You can either dismantle a broken machine that you have beside your workshop, or a repaired machine that you have in your workshop. This machine needs not to be combined, but we will see this just after. When you choose to dismantle a repaired machine like this, you will either be able to take an, am an amount of victory points according to the level of the card. So here, this is a le level 1 machine, so I will take one victory point. Or I can choose also to take twice the amount of resources it cost me to repair it. It costs me two copper and I will be able to get back four copper by dismantling it, which is pretty nice. If I choose to dismantle a broken machine, I won't be able to take the victory points because I didn't repair it. So. But I will be able to take resources. But the amount of resource I will be able to take depends on the level of the card of the machine. This is a level 1 machine, so I will be able to take one resource among those. Among the one it cost me to repair it. Now let's see the reorganize action. By performing this action, you will be able to combine or uncombine machines, repaired machines that you have in your workshop. So to see if you can combine two machines, one with another, you will have to look at the bottom right of the machine. Here, this chocolate, which is a P1 type, can be combined with another P1. So, it can actually be combined with itself. Every machine can be combined with itself in order to get um, an extra power. For example, here I combine two chocolates. Instead of producing one chocolate every turn, 
the chocolate will now produce three chocolate and it takes less space. And if you have three chocolate combined, they will produce seven chocolate. There is another type of combination that you can achieve with blue and purple machine, which are production and transformation machines. A transformation machine that you can see here can be combined with either itself or a production machine, a P2 or a P4. This carpenter is a P2 and can be combined with the transmutator. So if you combine them together, the transmutator will now produce the copper for free. Before, it produced the copper for the cost of one resource. Now, the resource is given by the carpenter, so you don't need to pay for it anymore. Those combined machines are stronger and take less space into your workshop, which is very helpful. Also, combining machines like this may be part of the objectives that you can see here. Speaking of which, this objective is to have at least 15 chocolate behind your screen. If I have them, and I have them, I'll be able to place one token of mine, of my color, on this project. When I do that, I will take the victory points associated with this project, which is three for here. If another player puts also claims also this project, this player will get an amount of victory point equal to what's written here, minus one, because a player already claimed this project, but every other player claiming this project will get two victory points. There is no other diminution. So here, Felidius claimed this project and took two victory points. And the number of projects available for everyone depends on the number of players that you can see here. Then, this is the end of the global turn. Starting with the player the most on the left of the conveyor belt, this player will go back onto the stair, the turn track order, and one by one they will do this in order to make the order for the next turn. So this is how to turn runs. Remember that this is a race goal game and the game ends whenever a player reaches 20 points at least. The ways to reach points are by claiming objectives that you can see here. Also, points can be acquired with machines, like this one, which produces victory points every turn. Also, you can have victory points by dismantling repaired machines that you have in your workshop. You can buy victory points by performing this trade action. And last but not least, there is victory points that are given by majority on resources and on charcoalium. So at the end of the game, when a player has 20 or more points, the player who has the most wood resource will get two victory points. It's the same for the copper, for the crystal, and for the charcoalium. When a turn is over, if the game isn't over, we will prepare the, the next turn. First, we take the machine on the right side of the conveyor belt and put it into the treasure, here. Then, every remaining machine is put on the right side of the, co of the conveyor belt and new machines appear. You can see that there is five types of machines. The production machine that we've seen already, the transformation machines also, and there is also red machines, which are the attack machines. They help you stealing other people. They can steal resources, charcoalium, there is essentially those effects. But you can prevent those effects by possessing a repaired defense machine. And last but not least, there is the special machines. They make, of course, special effects, like for example, this one, which produces victory points every turn. Then, if there is missing assistance in the meeting room, we can put 
more assistance in order to reach 3. Then the turn is over and we can start another turn, starting with Felidius. So remember, this is a race goal game. The game ends whenever a player reaches at least 20 victory points, with different ways to reach those victory points. So that is how it is played. I hope you enjoyed it and have fun!